Let's play a game, shall we? Hello there, and welcome to Spear Revisited, a mod based off of the Wolfenstein 3D sequel known as Spear of Destiny. I never actually played that. I played Wolfenstein 3D, I just never played Spear Revisited, but maybe this will give me my chance. They call me the cleaner. I am in my element lead. Which part is the trigger? The enemy will devour me. I am in my element lead. Oh, this is, this is already good. Look at that. Got beautiful, some, some fairly okay outdoors for the most part. You've got, well, yeah, that was the original, the, the vines. But now look, you've got floor and ceiling textures. Ooh. And lighting. Which is also good. It's also nice to have. Hmm. I see they die faster, but they also do more damage to me, so... You know, it's a little bit balanced out in that regard. I, oh, wait. Yeah, I forgot. In Wolfenstein, I think the damage depends on how close you are to the enemy. Linearly. Linearly. Which, it's realistic if you think about it, because... Bullets exist on inertia, and the farther away you are, the, the less the... The softer it's gonna hit the enemy. And I just noticed they dropped a gun. Yes! So yeah, bullets have to travel and they lose their inertia over distance, so it makes sense that it would lose its strength over time. Okay, I need the gold key. I get this. What the heck? What in the world is this, huh? You freaking kidding me? Oh, yeah, yeah, freaking kidding me. Yeah, I gotta be freaking kidding me with this. Oh. Can't even see that part. My bad. That was my bad. What in the world? I was about to say. For some reason, I was looking at it off, and it looked like a funny face or something. <laughs> nah, that's just that's just Adolf Hitler right there. It's nice to meet you, Fiara. <laughs> sorry, did I make that joke before? Because I don't really care. I'm sorry that I don't care. So there you go. Well, at least I found a silver key. That's a silver lining in all this, even though I need a gold key to open that one. Take that! Take that, sir! Yes! Rip and tear! And fight like Nazi Germany! <laughs> nah, that, that just sounds wrong. I don't know why, but for some reason saying fight like Nazi Germany sounds much wronger than saying fight like hell. I don't know. Maybe I am fighting like Nazi Germany because I'm blitzkraging them! I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I don't really care. I think I really respect Hitler enough to pronounce his crap the correct way and not die over and over again. Give me a sec. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Except for the fact that I'm kind of doing worse than I was before. Or at least for that, for that part I was. Go screw yourself. Go screw yourself, go screw yourself. Yes, yes, slow, yes, yes, slow, yes, yes, slow. Go screw yourself, go screw yourself, go screw yourself. Oh, crap. Running out of ammo fast and health. I'm running out of everything. All the essentials. This is, this is just great, isn't it? I have to snap, snap so much to shoot that I'm just running out of ammo with this crap. And then I run out of health, and then I'm just dead, so it doesn't matter how much ammo you have left after that. Yeesh, okay, holy crap. Especially these guys, they really drain your ammo like a son of a beaver. It's very unfortunate, isn't it? Why is there not any secret areas? How come there's not that? There's probably a secret area somewhere and I just don't know where the hell it is. Leon! Leon! Leon Kennedy! No. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. That's just the first thing that popped in my head when I, when I heard him screaming that. Leon from Resident Evil! Leon! 
What are they trying to contact? Leon Kennedy? Yeah, holy crap! Holy crap! This game! This game! This game! This game! It's. It's a hell. It's hell. I'm in a hell right now. Forget Doom. This is the ultimate hell. Right here. This is the ultimate hell. This is super hell. It's Nazi hell. Nazi hell is much worse than regular hell. Because you have to listen to the Fuhrer. Blab on. You freaking kidding me? You freaking kidding me? Do they even block each other? Or do they just literally shoot through each other to get to me? Are they conveniently immune to their own bullets or what? Dang it. This, this is quite difficult in case you haven't noticed already. You run out of bullets, you run out of hope. You run out of any hope of winning. You just burn out, man. Great, yeah. Yeah, great, I'll definitely survive with 6% health and a knife. Told ya. Told ya I wouldn't freaking survive. That would have been amazing if I had actually survived, but no, this isn't a heroic movie. This is just reality. This is hell. Did I mention that already? It bears repeating. About another million times over. Can't even find any secrets either. Does this even have secrets? I'm beginning to question if this has secrets. Because if this has secrets, I sure as hell am not finding any. You gotta be kidding me, man! You gotta be kidding me! Hooray, I happened to luck out. Not gonna help me for crap, but hey! Pretty sure I'm gonna regret saving over that because I'm pretty sure I just made it unbeatable now. Or may as well be unbeatable. Unbeatable by the standards of ordinary human beings. Oh great, the bullet sponge right here. These guys are where more health more of my ammo goes to than anyone else. It's very unfortunate. And they barely give you a jack in return. You end up with less ammo than you started. Okay, good. Good, there we go. A little bit of a booster. Will it help me survive? I doubt it, but hey. Well, it helped me survive. Cool. Nice! Finally, a secret area. Holy crap, I was waiting for one of these. Nice! Yes! Oh, my salvation at last. My sweet, juicy salvation at last! Oh. Praise all that is good in this world. I have been revived. You gotta be kidding me, man! You gotta be kidding me! Go screw yourselves. Oh, okay. Pieces of crap. They're about to ru they just ruined it! They just ruined it! They come out of every freaking- They come out of the freaking woodwork and they run- They run faster than I do almost. They almost run faster than me and that's saying something. And of course they're- they're shooting me at every angle so what, what the hell am I supposed to do? I can't focus on one! I can't focus on any of them because the other ones rip you to freaking shreds. There's no possible way to win except to run. That's the only thing I can do is just run like hell. I gotta run and corral them to me because that's the only way I have a chance. Even then I don't have a chance in hell. See, I reflexively shot because they, they kill you in a second. They kill you before you have a chance to even look at them, so I gotta shoot before the doors even open. And then I waste ammo, and then I run out of ammo, and then I die anyway. It's a vicious cycle, I know. 
That's the nature of this stupid game. Especially at this difficulty level. What in the hell possessed me to put the difficulty this high? I was clearly out of my freaking mind. I thought that ultra-violent equivalents would be good. Or maybe that was more like a Hurt Me Plenty equivalent. I don't even freaking know. Because it was the third difficulty. Hey, look, that would be I'm Too Young to Die, Hey Not Too Rough, Hurt Me Plenty, I'm Here, Ultraviolence. Is that Ultraviolence or Nightmare? I don't even freaking know. I don't know what equivalent that is. Oh well. At least they didn't do too bad this time. I got very fortunate this time. Because I run behind corners, that's the only way you're going to beat them. You got to let them come to you and then surprise them. Because full frontal assault, that's the fastest way to get your ass beat. Hard. It's the way to get your ass full of lead. Oh yeah, I'm in my element all right, because I'm full of it. I'm full of lead. You don't have to worry about that. There's plenty of lead in there. What in the world? I knew there would be some kind of crevice for them to come out of. I freaking knew it. I was expecting it. Oh, good. Nice. That was pretty pleasant. Cool. At least there's only one per row at the most. I have to say. And then immediately they give you two rows, but no. Not yet. <laughs> I'm psyching myself out because I'm thinking the game's gonna actually do that. Damn it, where the hell are you? They shoot you out of freaking nowhere and then the game doesn't exactly help you determine where you're getting shot at. I mean, it isn't even like Doom where he looks in the direction, no. It's, you're just, you're just blindly guessing where they're coming from and if you guess wrong, hey, you're dead. You're freaking dead before you have a chance to figure out where they're actually coming from. Because that's the way this game wants to play it. This game wants to play you. I really don't appreciate it. I'm supposed to be playing the game, not the other way around. This game is testing me. See, it, it wants me to break. I get it. It wants me to break. This is, this is a marathon. It's an endurance test. Of my patience. Of my sanity. It wants to break me. It wants me to spill the information about the allied locations. Well, you know what? I'm never going to tell you. So, torture me all you want with this stupid game. I don't care. I will never give away the location of my brothers. No matter how much you torture me. Although, I mean, if you wanted to let me go in exchange for maybe giving you a hint of their location. I'm kidding. I won't tell you crap. I won't tell you crap because you're a piece of crap. What in the world is that? Is that Hitler with hit the upper half of his face cut off? No, that, that can't be Hitler, even though it looks like it has his mustache right there. I can't be the only one who's thinking that, can I? Nice. Ooh, sweet. Is that the, is that the equivalent of the chain gun? Or, you know, the minigun, whatever you want to call it. Doom decided to call it the minigun and it just stuck since. Even though it's technically a minigun. Wait, did I say that Doom called it a minigun? Because Doom called it a chain gun. Even though a chain gun is something completely different, it uses an actual chain. And that, that's a minigun. You know what? Screw, screw all that. I'm just gonna go scavenge for a bit. Give me a sec. somewhere new so hooray for me hooray for me I found somewhere new did that give me any actual strate strategic advantage not even close all it did was drain a little bit more of my health and drain more of my ammo so hooray I found somewhere new I eliminated all the enemies I believe 
and I have nothing to show for it. So that, hey, that's great. Let me just look real quick to see if there's anything in here. Seems like this would be the only spot left that I haven't checked for secrets. And I'm pretty sure I checked most of it for secrets, so there's that too. Well. And that's the end of that. Oh well. Oh, whoops, uh, there we go, and we just gotta go back. Just gotta park ourselves back over here. Or, is there a seeker in the very first room? Nah, it couldn't be. What the? Oh, I found some bullets. Huh. Didn't even, didn't even notice those bullets there. It's actually possible to destroy these. Okay, no. I didn't want to waste bullets on them, that would just be stupid. Especially if I don't know if they're destructible or not. Clearly, I got my answer. They are indestructible. So, it would be a waste of bullets to shoot them. Seriously, there's... I know there's another secret. It says two out of three. I just don't know where in the world the last one would possibly be. Pretty sure it's somewhere. I just don't know where. Heck with it. Wait. Are they both? Do they both exit the same way? Whatever. I don't really care. Over tunnels, huh? That's cool. Map 2. Actually, let me try this. Oh, nice. It's pretty good. Need the silver key, of course. Oh, well. I'll just go elsewhere. I'll just take my business elsewhere. Thank you very much. Oh, it shoots them fast. Nice. Great, now you've resorted to using the darkness to hide them. Thus allowing them to shoot me even more easily in the face. Serious. Why were you running around like an idiot? Not only were you making me miss and waste my ammo, but you didn't really gain anything by it. Other than, again, make me waste my ammo, which is very rude and inconsiderate of you. Seriously. What were you thinking? What in Sam's Hill were you thinking, son? Hmm. Interesting. Well, that was fun. Now for more loneliness. Well, I actually have a surplus of ammo. That's... That's new. Nice music, too. Of course. Where the hell are you hiding? You son of a... Bastard. Was that... Was that a mutant? No. Pretty sure I was just seeing things in the dark. It's hard to tell in the dark. No, okay, it was a mutant. Never mind then, I was right. Learn to trust your instincts a little more, why don't you? What the... I swear that looked like something. Well, this is something. Sweet. Nice. Awesome. Until the item. No, I'm not gonna grab those health kits. I'm gonna wait until I actually need them. Because why use them now when you can use them when you actually need them and preserve your supply a little bit? Why are you putting them in the dark? What, they weren't, it wasn't douchey enough before? You gotta make them in the dark? Why do you have to do this? You know, you don't have to do this. You could just make it straightforward. Great. We've gotten to the point where the, the enhancements make it worse than the original. Because that's the one good thing about the original Wolfenstein 3D engine having full bright, at least you didn't have to worry about crap like this, them sneaking up on you in the dark and cheaply shooting you like an SOB. That's bull. That is bull crap, my friend. And it's not like you can do the same thing to them because they can see clearly in every brightness setting. It's like they've got night vision or something. So it's not like it's an even playing field in that regard either. 
They clearly have the huge advantage. They've got the home field advantage over you. You're stumbling around in the dark trying to figure out where your own face is. Meanwhile, they're just shooting it off. Oh, there's my face. I know it's there because I feel an agonizing amount of pain in that region. Ah, oh, man. Good stuff. Okay. I think I have just about confirmed that there are no secrets in this area. Probably. And then, watch the one wall I didn't hump. It ends up being there. Because it always is. Because reasons. Right. I got the key so I can just go straight there. What am I waiting? What am I wasting time for, huh? No reason. No particular reason. Just wasting time as always. Oh, you're not gonna uh, gang up on me this time. That's it's gotta be one advantage of this freaking minigun that I've got here. Boom, baby. Yeah, let's see you gang up on me this time. I'll rip you all to pieces. You know, I used to think this was the best balanced weapon, but screw it. You just have to know when to let go of the trigger, and this is clearly the best by far. I barely even lost any ammo, too. I'm almost at full. Until I run to these guys that take more ammo than normal while giving you the standard amount of ammo. Oh, I actually turned up with maximum ammo. That's a shocker. I think this thing actually does more damage, too. A little bit. It doesn't seem to take as much bullets to, to, to kill enemies, is what I'm saying. I seem to be able to kill them more easily with this weapon, too. So, what reason would I ever have to switch back? Okay, that wasn't perfectly ammo efficient, but good enough, right? Yeah, shut up. Yeah, take that. Oh, man. Yeah. Crap. Got a little carried away there, huh? But I got a surplus of stuff all over the place that I haven't even picked up yet. There are health kits all over the place that I haven't even picked up yet. Yeah, take that, you piece of crap. May as well take that because it only does it only gives you ten each, so I can easily stack that. But maybe I should have left one so I could grab a med kit. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Not really. It doesn't matter too much. It's in there. Wow, I killed them all before they had a chance to even fire at me. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Boy, it's fantastic. It's great. It's very great. It's great. Oh, what's over here? Another enemy with nothing to show for it? Fantastic. It just wouldn't be the same without you. Nope. Well, at least this ammo... This gun is is shockingly ammo efficient. Yeah, shocking when the minigun is the ammo efficient one, but... I don't know, for some reason it just hits them hard enough that I seem to retain more of my ammo when I shoot them with this than when I shoot them with my regular weapon. That, that's kind of funny to me. Now the minigun is the one that saves you ammo. Usually that's what you want to use when you don't give a crap about ammo. When you just want to rip everything in sight. I guess it's OP in that regard. It's OP compared to the other weapons anyway, that's for sure. That's for sure. Where the heck is the gold door? Are there even any doors that I haven't gone in yet? Because I don't see crap. Am I just supposed to use the golden key to use that elevator that I came in from? Because that would be weird. It wouldn't really make much sense, would it? It don't make sense. Oh well. May as well try it. If not, then I hope the answer is at least on that side. Oh. Completely forgot about that door in front of me. Durr. I'm sorry. Sometimes I just don't think. You're not paying me to think. In fact, you're not paying me at all. Oh well. Huh. Ah. Oh, 
Okay, seven more enemies to go. Clearly, I haven't found everything I can find. So, I guess the name of the game now was to explore around for a little bit. And you know what that means? Hang tight. Huh, already found a new area. That was fast, wasn't it? At least fast by my standards. I really need to pay attention. Because I tend to not do that very much. Nice, another secret area. <clears throat> Ooh, a one-up. Nice. I would say I want to wait until later, but... Actually, what does it do to you? Okay, good. It just... It, it turns your health to 100, just like it normally does. I didn't know if it would if it would translate over from the Doom effect, which is to just stack on 100, so... Yeah, it's basically the Berserk Pack. Except it also fills up your ammo instead of giving you a super powerful fist. Which, in many regards, is obviously the better option. Now, the only question is... What to do now? I think I've actually gone through all the doors finally, so any enemies left are probably hiding in the secrets. That's all I can assume. Because there is nothing else to go on. Oh look, another secret! We're just giving them away now. Holy crap, that is one long string of treasure. Yeah, that's more like it. That's what I'm talking about, man. Holy crap, look at all that ammo, too. Yeah, the game is getting really generous all of a sudden. What's your angle, game? What are you trying to do, huh? I know you're trying to... You're trying to let my guard down, aren't you? You're trying to butter me up. Well, I have got news for you, mister. It might be working. <laughs> uh, it might be working a little bit. You might be winning me over a little bit. Shut up, it's not like I... It's not like I'm starting to like you or anything, game. Idiot. Alright. Now, you can just tell me where the last secret is, I'll be on my merry little way. Or not. You know what, I don't need the extra secret that badly. Who needs it? I've got everything I need right here. But on the other hand... There is a compelling argument to be to be made saying that I already have everything I need and I can just exit the level, but on the other hand, there's that argument too. Which puts up a very good point. I mean BJ humping the wall has a good has a pretty good case too, doesn't it? What in the world? It's a long strip here, isn't it? Seems a little bit suspicious. Huh. The second level turned out to be much easier than the first level for some reason. Probably helps that I found this bad boy right here. Oh boy, now it's going back to its douchey ways. Ah, it just wouldn't be the same without these douchey tactics, huh? Did one of them just kill the other one? I swear, I just saw one just die. As if it got sh he got shot. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Nice. I'm obviously not gonna grab the ammo because that would just be a waste. And I don't like being wasteful. Go to hell. Well, okay. Now all of a sudden, the game is getting douchey again. You son of a mother hemper! Why did I say hemper instead of humper? I've got no idea because the game has got me tongue-tied. It's hard to come up with things to say and confidently shoot at the same time. But I've said that before. But believe me, there are people who live stream for the first time or even just let's play for the first time. And then they will agree all of a sudden. It's as though... It just becomes harder when you're trying to talk and perform at the same time. It's not so easy. You try doing it. Try recording a video in which you're ta you're also trying to talk. It's not that easy. I assure you. Crap. 
Tom Hall's objections to Doom was that it was more violent than Commander Keen. I mean, couldn't he have told? Couldn't he have been able to tell they were going in that direction since they made Wolfenstein 3D? Wasn't that? Why didn't he have any objections to that? Is it because hell? It's because it's hell instead of Nazis. I mean, wouldn't hell be less controversial than Nazis? I mean, Nazis. It's hitting close to home because they actually existed. There are people who have. Well, I don't think there are any actual Holocaust survivors left. If there are, I'll be really shocked, but there are at least people whose parents or something were survivors of that, and so, you know, that's something that can hit personally for people. But, I mean, unless you know someone who survived hell, which I doubt it, because once you go to hell, it's kind of a one-way trip. But, you know, that's not really as personal for people. Unless, unless you think your relative went there or something, I don't, I don't know, you know what I mean. I don't mean that hell isn't real, I mean that hell isn't on this physical plane, it's not as personal. You know what I mean, you know what I freaking mean. The Nazis happen on this planet, in this, in this realm, so it can hit more, more closer to home to, to people. Not to mention you're shooting people. Yeah, they, they may be Nazis, but they're still humans. Technically. They may not act like humans. They may... may in many ways, the Nazis... Well, maybe not the Nazi soldiers. Mostly the higher-ups. A lot of them acted like monsters, but... They were still humans, weren't they? Crap. And there still is a certain connotation with shooting humans as opposed to shooting demons. I mean... Even Nazis, you have to... somewhat... Uh, you, you know what I mean. I mean, it's hard to explain. Obviously, there are some human beings that need to go down for the sake of... of world... of keeping the peace and, you know, n national... personal self-defense and all that, but... you shouldn't ever feel good about having to kill a human being, is what I'm saying. It shouldn't make you feel good. If you delight in killing human beings, then you're kind of a sociopath, is what I'm saying. It shouldn't make you feel good to kill a human being. I mean, maybe relieved because a bad person is no longer able to hurt people, but you shouldn't feel pleasure from it. I don't know. It's a complicated subject. Some of you will probably disagree with me on that. But I don't think you should get pleasure out of kill killing human beings. I'm one of those guys... That isn't pro-war, but I recognize the need for it. I don't think anyone should be really pro-war. Nobody should be for war. Because war is, war is ugly. Some of us just, some of us simply realize, hey, sometimes war is the only choice you've got. Sometimes war is going to be forced on you. And you've got no choice. You, you either fight or you lose everything that you love and care about. So, you know, people tend to be... People are sometimes between a rock and a hard place. They have no choice. They've got to fight. But it, it shouldn't ever be something you, you strive for. If you strive for war, then you're a psycho. I hate to say it. You're kind of a psycho if, you, if you're if you for something as horrible as war. If you, if, you think it's a, if you think it's good. If you think it's something that we should have all the time. That it's It should be the first answer to all of our problems. And that's not the way this country was founded either. Believe it or not, people... I mean, like, veterans and, and stuff, they will tell you, for the most part, that war is ugly. We shouldn't strive for war. And our national symbol... I'm actually gonna... This is probably one of the few times where I'm actually going to teach you something of importance. Our national symbol is an eagle that is holding a talon of arrows in one hand and an olive branch in the other, and he's facing towards the olive branch. Now, what that symbolizes is that the olive branch is peace is, you know, like negotiations, just solving something peacefully. The bundle of arrows is solving something through war. He's looking at the olive branch because he would prefer to use the olive branch as the first option, which is basically how our country stands. We will try to solve things in a non-violent capacity. If that doesn't work, then when all other options have been expelled, then we resort to physical violence. But that shouldn't be the first thing. 
It's a last resort. War is an ugly last resort for if there's no other choice. Because there are people out there, believe it or not, there are bad people out there who will not listen to words. I know that may be hard for some of you to believe or imagine, but there are actually some people out there who just won't listen. And so you gotta stop them by force. But obviously that should be a rare occasion. You gotta be freaking kidding me with this bull. Give, give me a sec. I'm back. Took me a little bit to catch up, but I'm back. Son of a mother humpin! Man, this this mod is a douche! They just gang up on you from all directions. You, you can't even kill one of them. You can't focus on anything. They scatterbrain you. You, you, you try to split your focus, they'll kill you. They'll rip you to shreds before you even see them coming. It's ridiculous, man. Just saying. It's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up. Alright, anyway. As I was attempting to not so artistically say before, I can understand the need for war. And if there is a legit need for war, I will support it. I support it 100%. I support the men and the men and women who fight, our fight, who fight the good fight. I know it, what they do is not easy. They should get our utmost respect. That's me. I, I think it's messed up that people crap on the troops. I mean, let's be honest. They're not choosing to go to war. They're not choosing their fights. They're just trying to serve their country. That's what they're trying to do. I mean, in a perfect world. They, they wouldn't have to go fight, fighting in wars. They would just be the National Guard, or they would just be stationed in other countries as as defensive measure. They wouldn't have to get an active, into active military combat with another another group in, in warfare. They wouldn't have to actively get involved in crap like that. That would be a perfect world, but sadly we do not live in a perfect world. We live in a very flawed world, a very fallen world that is full of crap. So... Yeah, good luck with that. Alright, that's clearly not where I was meant to go. Probably over there. That's probably where I need to go. I would guess, would venture a guess that it's probably to the bottom right. The other area that looks like it has a door. You probably know the one I'm talking about. The very most bottom right corner right there. That's probably a door. I'm willing to bet. A lot. Yep. It's probably the golden one that I just recently got the key for, too. Go to hell. Please just go to hell. Thank you. I'm sorry, but... They are rubbing me the wrong way. For all this crap. Screw you. Ah, jeez. Got me so... It's got me so on edge that I shot a table. I shot at a table, I'm sorry. The table's indestructible, so obviously I didn't shoot it. Or at least I didn't destroy it when I shot it. But, you know, I'm so on edge that I shot at a table. Man, I need to, I need to focus. You gotta be kidding me, that guy shot me right in the face! Why did you shoot me in the face? Did you really have to do that? this? Why is one of them blocked? Wait a minute, what? Only one of them is the actual exit? Alrighty then. It was giving me the it was giving you the illusion of choice, I see. I get where you're going from where you're coming from. Alright, scavenging time! No wait, actually, there's a door right there that I haven't even opened yet, so never mind, do not I'm not gonna cut out just yet. I want to see what's in that door first, and then I'll cut cut away once I'm done killing whatever's inside and outside. Huh? No enemies. What? You, what are you playing, game? Oh, this game is screwing me, ain't it? The game is trying to psych me out. 
Well, it might just work. Because I'm psyched out, all right. I'm psyched out to kill. Yeah, go screw yourselves. I really couldn't care less. Okay. Neat. Cool. I won't feel good. I won't feel truly good until that count is 120 out of 120. Until there is none of them left. There we go. Yeesh. Okie dokie then. What in the world did I stumble into? What kind of secret worshipping area is this? What the heck? Cool. And even more enemies. Hooray! But at least there's a one-up. Ooh. One more left. One more enemy, I mean. I don't know how many secrets are left. Okay. Oh, one, one more secret, too. One enemy and a secret. It'd be funny if the last enemy was in the last secret. Oh, that's nice. That's, some, that's a nice effect there. Look at that. I don't know if that's an actual effect or if that's just something that was baked in, but... That almost looks like an actual light source. I mean, it could be because I'm playing GZ Doom, so that could actually be a dynamic light. Nah, I don't think it's a specular light. It could be a glow map, though. I didn't even think about that. It could just be a glow map. Yeah, forget, forget about it. Forget about it. All right, time to scavenge around real quick. Hang tight. But I found the final enemy! Hooray for that! Good for me, right? At least I can say I killed all the enemies in this map. 100% kill! Good for you! I'm one bullet short. Not that that matters. I'm pretty sure there are bullets all over the place in areas that I just neglected because I'm finding myself at a surplus lately. As long as I'm not too stupid about it. Which, to be fair, I often am. But, you know, whenever I get lucky enough to actually go through, there's usually a surplus of stuff just sitting around waiting for me. Like right here. Yeah, there, there's ammo there. Granted, I grabbed almost, I grabbed pretty much everything else, but still. I'm going the wrong way. I'm not going anywhere near the exit, that's for sure. All right, I'm just going to go straight to the exit. Give me a sec. Alright, I'm back. Time to go to the next level. Yeah! Look at the look on his face. They took some Raptor Call the Shadows music right there! That is from Raptor Calls the, Call the Shadows. For those of you who didn't know, I actually did a Let's Play of it. I mean, granted, I didn't get very far because nobody was watching it. But I did make a Let's Play of Raptor Call the Shadows. This is Raptor Call the Shadows music. But then again, they also used... They also used the the hanger music here, so so there you go. They used Raptor Call the Shadow music. That is the hanger music when you're in the storage hanger before you go out. And this is the second level of the Bravo, of Bravo Wave, Bravo Sector. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, the Bravo Sector. Nice. They're actually going farther than just giving floor and ceiling textures. There's legitimate height differences. Holy crap! Now all of a sudden it's getting more advanced than Rise of the Triad! Be still my beating heart. Careful! You might just impress me. Wink. Need a gold key. I just need a gold key. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Gotta love its use of Raptor music. And this is a very good track to use from, this particular track here. It's just, then again, is it really fitting for killing Nazis? It's, it's a very calming track. Then again, it's also used for plane warfare, but still, it's even weirder when it's a first-person shooter on the grounds kind of thing. 
Because this, I, I can't be the only one who thinks uh, that this music sounds really calm. It's, it's almost whimsical in a way. Just, just listen to it. Listen to it for a sec. Yeah, does, does that sound the hardcore action? Does that sound? Nah. Yeah, it doesn't even sound. No, it's it's a little slower. It's a little softer. It's very it's very relaxing. It's music you relax to as you're shooting planes down. But still, it's funny just seeing it next to me shooting things in the face. Yeah, go screw yourself. Well, they, they actually have a bathroom. I didn't know those existed. I just thought they never went to the bathroom. Because they almost never do. In fact, they didn't hear. They were just standing there awkwardly. Wondering, wondering how this alien technology works. Because they've never had to use the bathroom before. They don't know what that is. Ah, take that. Wait, could I have stabbed him? Could I have slashed him in the back? How the hell with this? I was gonna think of trying to stealth attack, but there are too many enemies in here that can see me, and I almost died, and you can see it on my face. Well, not so much anymore because I just healed myself a little bit, but I still look like I'm about to die. Oh crap. Shut it. Shut your face. Alright. Alright, alright. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere now. Now we're cooking with gasoline. Okay, still no silver key though. I need to go further for that. In fact, I don't have any keys. So what was the point of going through here? Oh. Oh, I see. I was supposed to go all the way around and go to that freaking, freaking door there. That's around the bottom. I was supposed to go there, but no, I just, I had to go everywhere, but I got distracted by all the enemies in these corridors that I didn't even check the actual door. See, that's what I needed. Oh, screw you! One hit point? Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, great. Great. You're giving me a pity. You're giving me pity health. Hooray! I got 11%. I'll definitely survive so much longer than one freaking percent. Yeah, let me tell you about it. About all the hours I'll add to my playthrough just because I got 10 hit points extra than what I normally would have gotten, because it's not like they can take away far more than that in a single shot or anything. No, I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where are you? Screw around with me. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You son of a bitch. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You gotta be freaking kidding. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You son of a bitch. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Why do I keep going into that door anyway? It's just gonna get me killed. I don't have enough health to endure that mutant strike. And now I think I do. Yeah, look at that. Now all of a sudden I've got enough health to be a little bit more destructive. Oh, nice. Oh, you son of a mother humping. Son of a dog humper. You son of a dog humper. That's what you are. Yeah. You're welcome for that mental image. You gotta be freaking kidding me. You've gotta be freaking kidding me. This is just nuts. Well, when I actually had enough health that I could have endured it, that's when they decide not to attack. Fantastic! 
This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Hey, go screw yourself. Please, thank you. Ah, this sucks. This sucks. Dang it. Dingus, damn it. Alright, cool. Alright. Show me the good stuff. Or not. You know, whatever works for you. It's not like you're obligated to give me stuff. But it would be very nice, wouldn't it? It would just be... It would show everyone how cool you are. How awesome you are. How, what a nice guy you are. Don't you want people to know what a nice guy you are? Come on. Why do you want everyone to think the think the worst of you? Come on. Can't you show some niceness every now and again? Stupid game. Well, you were nice to me on the previous levels, but this, this kind of blows it away. Because all it takes is one bad moment for all the goodness to be burned away at the stake. Due to my health suddenly dropping like a stone. I may have enough ammo, and that's good. At least I won't be reduced to the knife like in the first level, but... That doesn't mean I'm not getting my ass kicked. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Huh. Cool. Awesome. Not so awesome. They weren't coming after me, so I was thinking, oh, maybe... Maybe it won't be so bad. Nope. Got shot the second I poked my head around. Didn't even get a chance to look at him before they started shooting at me. It's like they just randomly shoot at the door, too. The... Oh, you son of a... You tease. You freaking tease. Okay. Fake. Fake. Real. You gotta guess which one almost... Is gonna be the real deal. It's that one. It's this one right here, the one with the shell, well, the one with the casing directly in it. Anyway, I'm gonna go scavenge for a bit. Hang tight. Here we go. I think I did enough of that for one day. Ooh, transgross. Nice. That means I'm actually gonna get to the boss fight. Oh boy, it's gonna be a hell of a party, ain't it? They gave me all kinds of crap. Oh, nice. Oh boy. Okay. Get out of my way, you piss ants. This isn't about you. It's about the main event, man. I'm, I'm waiting for the big guy to show up. Wasting my time and my resources for that matter. I want Gross himself to get out of here get out of here. And hide behind his little minions. Oh, what's wrong, Gross? You can't take me on your own. Aw. Aw, let's give him a everybody go. Everybody, at the count of three, go. Aw. One, two, three. Aw. You're not showing up. Aw. Okay. Cute. Cute. So where the hell is he? He's gotta be somewhere around here. He's gonna show up at the end, isn't he? He's gonna wait until I burned myself out, isn't he? Coward. Pathetic coward. Does that sound the decency to show himself? Great, more minions. To wear me down. Son of a beaver. Then again, if I'm getting this hurt by his minions, maybe this means that I'm probably not going to have much fun against Hans himself, huh? Unless they give, keep giving me stuff, then I might just have a blast. It's awesome. They keep giving me stuff. Yeah, just keep giving me stuff. That'd be great. Okay, there's only two doors to go, which I assume means he's behind this one. Somewhere. 
Okay. Go screw yourself. Go screw yourself. There he is. There's Gross. Just waiting for him to show his stupid face. Wait, his stupid face looks like my stupid face. Father? Go screw yourselves, you piss ants. It's time for some quote unquote father son time. If you catch my drift. I'm gonna teach my old man how to shoot. What the? What did it say? I knew it wasn't over that quick. Crap. Oh, crap. You freaking kidding me with this crap? Hey, your minions are kind of screwing up the fight, sir. I don't mean to tell you how to fight, but maybe you want to fight me yourself instead of hiding behind your freaking minions? Or I'll just exploit your AI, that works too. Ah, uh, dang it, I'm out of ammo. Quick, run back to an area, a previous area that had ammo. Right there, that, that works too. Huh, well, he was near death. Awesome! Okay, I can live with that. I can definitely live with that. Yeah. Take that! You big bastard! You big bloated bastard! You know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, and you are pretty big. You are pretty damn big. There we go, I earned that, I feel good. I feel freaking good about that. Eight more enemies, come on, man! Come on! Okay. More supplies. Awesome. That can't be it. That cannot be it. No, there's something that smells fishy. Both of them are fake? So what do they do? This is some kind of trap, I know it. Some kind of freaking trap. Some kind of nasty trap! You nazi! Oh, never mind. Wait, that one's fake too. Okay. So this one? They're all fake. What the hell? What the hell? Okay. I'm guessing I need to go this way. Oh, okay, there's... A lot of ammo in here, too. I could have just retreated here when I was fighting Hans. Han. Not Hans. Ha no, wait. It is Hans. Hans. Gross. What the heck is up there? And can I find out? There's a door up there. I kind of want to get up there. You got to show me how to get up there? Get it up, get it up, get it up. Buh, buh. I don't know how. I don't know how. These doors are all fake. These switches are all fake anyway. What in the world? Okay, that's not gonna work, obviously. You joik. You joik. Now I'm confused. Was this never finished? Is this as far as the map maker got? Let me just check to see if there's even a level after this. Oh, there is a level after this. But I don't get it. Was this specific level just not finished? Then? No, there, there was a door. I don't get it. I do not get it. This doesn't make any sense to me. No, this is confusing. Okay. That solves that. It's just so close to the, the outer wall that it makes... It's kind of glitchy. It was glitching out the appearance of it. It's kind of weird. I had to make sure that that wasn't anything 
suggestive of an actual way forward, but clearly it's not. It tied. It tied at all. So, what the hell am I supposed to do? Hate to do it. I really hate to do it. Are you for real? What the? Wait, wait, what? What? What in the world? Okay. I didn't even see that. There's a door that is straight up ignored. Also, okay. That's, that's just that. I was wondering what that was. For some reason, I thought that was something from Rise of the Triad. Oh, great. Of course, there's going to be more enemies between me and the exit. Of course, there's going to be more... I'm such an idiot. I went back to the beginning, didn't I? Oh, I am so stupid. I apologize to everyone. I apologize to everyone for my sheer overwhelming amounts of stupidity. Can't believe I did that. Man, I got so discombobulated. There we go. That's that's the actual exit. There we go. I didn't think I didn't think it was over. I figured there was more to it. It wouldn't just be over like that. That'd be a weird. I mean, granted, that'd be a cool place to end it on, but still, it, it would be a bit too soon for an actual release. You know, just in my opinion, maybe. Nah, it was fine. Is that E1M7 of Doom? Is that the music that's playing? Well, screw yourself, man. Yeah, it is. It's E1M7 of Doom. Man, this guy is taking music from everywhere, ain't he? There's music all over the place. What the? Okay. Oh, I see. I'm getting discombobulated again. That's where I started, isn't it? Screw you. Screw you. Screw them. Screw them all with my screw attack. Not really. This isn't Metroid. It's Wolfenstein. On the Doom Engine. Nice. Nice as rice. Sorry, pups. I didn't, you didn't really leave me a choice. I didn't want to have to do it, but it's the law of the West. Cool. Awesome. My lemon. Leon. Just screw yourself, man. I hate the darkness. It sucks. Especially when they have perfect accuracy in set darkness. That's what really sucks about it. It wouldn't be so bad if the enemies were kind of crawling their way around, too. If it was like a... Well, actually, if it was like Splinter Cell, I'd have night vision, so I'd be the one with the advantage. But you know what I mean. If they were the ones wandering around in the dark, like like me, that would that would be one thing. It should just throw off their aim. That that would be cool, wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure you could do it the do it too, because I mean that's what the partial invisibility sphere does. How about this? If the lighting levels below a certain amount to where the the human player has trouble seeing. It, it should have an invisibility sphere-like effect on the enemies. That, that's just me. That, that, that's my opinion. Because that would be, that would be kind of cool. And at least it would make areas like this more bearable. Because at least it would show that the enemies aren't just magically seeing you at all times, even in pitch blackness. Which wouldn't make any sense anyway. Are they saying drop it? I can't tell what they're saying. It's like a, a mesh. Dravi. Are they saying something in German or are they saying drop it? Because it kind of sounds like they're saying drop it. I'm not the only one who thinks that, right? That, that's what that sounds like? Come on, don't make me don't make me seem crazy. Oh boy. Nice. Take this. 
I love it when you put yourselves in a row like this. It makes it so much easier for me. Nice. Very awesome. Well, look, it's the barracks. Feeling a little sleepy, huh? Actually, I could use some sleep, but that's beside the point. I will kill all of you. There will be no sleep until all of you are hunted down. If you surrender, I might just take you in alive. Otherwise, well, you signed your own death warrant. E1M7 sounds even more fitting, even more funny for some reason than the Raptor, because the Raptor theme was calming. This is like depressing. E1M7's theme on, from Doom is depressing. Sorry, I don't memorize all the names. I know the first one is that Doom's Gay, and I think M's song, and that's about it. I don't memorize all the names of all the songs, so forgive me if I don't remember all of them. Of course, the most memorable one is E3M1. You know what it's called? Literally Untitled. Couldn't even come up with a name for it. Oh. Well, at least it's easy to remember. Just remember, Untitled. So it's like modern art. Except actual effort was put into making it. So it's not quite modern art. Ah, okay. Now I just, I'm just gonna go scavenge for a bit. Give me a sec. about all I have time for so that's it for now thank you so much for tuning in with me make sure to spread this video around like the influence of the Nazis circa World War II in Germany and I will see you next time now go out there and capitalize on life peace out have a good one and have a nice and pleasant day